In this video, I'm going to show you how to start affiliate marketing as a beginner using JVZoo. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks and how to find success and make money online. All right, so I'm sure you're wondering what is JVZoo? JVZoo is a website in which you can buy, sell and promote digital products and services. JVZoo is a great place to sell and promote products for people that are looking to start or scale their business. There are a number of different products and a number of different categories for people to, again, buy, sell, trade, and promote. And JVZoo can be great if you are looking to help solve a problem using a digital product or service. Usually it's business, but it can be healthcare, it can be technology, it can be whatever. Just know that JVZoo is a good alternative to something like ClickBank or Amazon Associates or any number of affiliate networks that are out there. Um, so let's talk about how you can use JVZoo as beginner. Obviously, what you'll need to do is you'll need to choose a niche that is on the screen, uh, create an account if you haven't already done so. Creating an account is very easy. It takes probably maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Just follow the steps, answer the questions, and you get an account created. Once you have the account created, you'll come to a dashboard. That dashboard will tell you how much money you've made. But what we're most interested in, we want to see how we can find products to promote. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So here I am on the uh, screen to find different products to promote. As you can see, there's a number of pieces of information that you need to be aware of in order to find a product that is right for you. Uh, there are a few different things that you can do. If we start at the very top, you can actually sort by category. Uh, there are a number of different categories. Obviously, if you have a niche in, let's say, business, you want to select that category and then click search. What we're just going to do is we're going to do a quick overview of the screen so that we can get an understanding of how to find decent products. Now, the first thing that I want you to be aware of is, is JVZoo is a little bit different than ClickBank, which I've done a tutorial on, and you actually have to request approval from the sellers. So basically what you do is you find a product that you're interested in promoting, and, there, and, and I'll get into that in just a second, but you have to click request approval, and you have to enter in a little bit of information in order to get approval. Now, not all products, you, now you won't be approved for all products, especially if you're new. Um, uh, JVZoo and a lot of the sellers want proven results or want to see proven results. And so this can be a little bit of a hurdle, but there are different ways around that hurdle. If you're just honest and you tell them, hey, I'm, I'm new to affiliate marketing, but I'm, I'm not new to selling. Um, I, I, I am very interested in your product and I want to promote it. Usually people will be okay with that. If they're not okay with that, you can always find a different product, get your bones and then show them how, how successful you've been with JVZoo. But one thing that you need to note that this is a little bit different than ClickBank and some of those other affiliate programs out there. You actually have to request approval. Now JVZoo is free to get started, but you have to request approval and that's out of the norm or a little bit different than, than other places. But let's take a quick look next to uh, affiliate approval. Approval. There's a launch date. So when it was created and launched, uh, the number of products that are sold, the conversion rate, this can be important if you're looking for a high converting product. So basically um, from click to sell. Next we have EPC or earnings per click. So basically that gives you a nice little ratio to help you determine what is a high converting offer versus something that uh, will require a lot of clicks and a lot of eyeballs before someone will buy it. Next is the average sale price. Obviously that's self-explanatory. Um, commission, so uh, as we see with the first one, if the price is $100, the commission is 50%, so you're looking at 50, 35, and then the re refund percent. Um, something that is a good product has a low refund rate, uh, something that is maybe not such a great product or it misleads the customer has a high refund rate. Obviously, you want that rate down as close to zero as possible, but uh, a few refunds are to be expected when you're selling products online or promoting digital products online. And this is important to you because when you create, uh, when, when you promote a product, you don't get paid out into that. You don't get paid out for that product until after the, the 30 day window or the return window has closed. And so you want to keep an eye on, on high versus low refund rates. Um, so that's basically an overview of the, the top gray bar up here. Now let's take a look at some of the things on the side. Obviously on the side, we have the product name, uh, we have the, the seller name, and then we have basically a, a few quick bullet points about each product and the seller. As you can see, this emblem here, uh, it's a diamond. It means it's a premium seller. They usually have a good quality product. Next to that is it's been featured. So um, an email has probably gone out, or if you joined JVZoo recently or purchased something from JVZoo, you probably received an email about this product. 
uh, most recently. Uh, next to that, we are talking about 10% uh, rank seller. Again, this means that this is a good product and the seller has made good products in the past. And then basically this is the, the product funnel. So one thing with JVZoo is usually there's a low uh, initial offer and then there's kind of a stepping stone where there will there'll be different affiliate offers on the back end. And that's why the average price can be a little bit different than the sale price because some people will, will buy the upsell uh, versus the downsell. But that price can be different for everyone and, and, and that can vary greatly. Next to that we have endorsements. Basically what that means is how trustworthy the product and the seller is and so this is again this is a quick snapshot of the different products that you want to promote or you have the opportunity to promote again as i mentioned you should definitely sort by category um, you want to find stuff that is in your niche um, that can help the solve the problem for the customer or your target audience let's take a look at the different products so we click the name of the product and again, what you want to do is you want to go here in the green, uh, seal the, see the sales page. This is what the customer will see when they, uh, when they click the affiliate link. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll create content and then you'll add a shortened URL or you can add the direct URL. You'll add this directly to your content. So if you're creating a YouTube video, you'll say, click the link in the description to learn how to make videos faster. And when they click the link, when your customers click the link, they'll see that sales, the sales page, and then they'll, they'll go through and they'll decide if they want to buy. They can click this video or they can click the yellow button to get instant access. Basically, this, you're getting an idea of, of how, um, how well the sales page is set up and if this is something that you want to promote. Now, remember, when you're promoting products as an affiliate marketer, it's a two-way street. You don't have to promote a product just as easily as the seller doesn't have to work with you. You want to make sure that you are comfortable with the seller and the product that they're promoting because at the end of the day, this is your brand, this is your rep reputation. And if you are known for selling poor products or, or selling products that are shady or, or whatever, you are going to lose reputation and people are going to be less likely to click on your links and, and buy whatever it is you're selling. So it's very important that you're comfortable with the products that you're promoting and and the seller because this is your name and your in your brand sure you're directing them to an affiliate offer but you're the one that sent them there and if people can't trust you they're not going to buy the products you're recommending so keep that in mind if you are just getting started because at the end of the day this is still all about you anyway we've taken a look at the the sales page sometimes they have uh, affiliate contests that's something that you can get into if you want to but you want to find products that that you feel comfortable promoting uh, once you find the product, you just answer the question here and just say, hey, I'm a beginner. I'm just getting started, but I really love your product and I feel comfortable. Uh, and I know for a fact that if I'm granted access, that I can um, sell a lot of your products and, and we can grow, both grow together. Um, something along those lines, be honest, be upfront, um, because they can actually see some of the seller information and just let them know that you are just getting started, but you are willing to work hard and do what it takes ethically to help make them money. They can, they should grant you if they don't grant you. There's someone else out there that will. Believe me, everyone is in this um, to grow their business and to make more money. You can also see the seller information if you'd like. Again, this is gonna give you an idea of um, how well the, the seller is known, his rank, his personality, um, the qualities. If people are having a good ex experience with the seller, then um, you know it's a quality product. But that's basically it. You find different offers on, on JVZoo, you request permission. Once they grant you the permission, I recommend putting your, your link in a link shortener like Bitly. Once you've done that, you can add the link to your uh, description, add it to your blog or whatever it is, and then you can start making commission. The cool thing again, and I just wanna reiterate, is the sale price is listed here, $27. That's the initial offering. Your commission is 50%, 50 so you get half of that, which is what, $13.50? We'll say 13, 13, uh, 16, 14. Yeah, 1350. But then there are a number of upsells, and that's why you see the average sale price for this one is a little bit different than the 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 sale price. So twenty seven dollars, as you can see, most people will buy um, a, 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 an upsell or two. Um, if you want to know everything, if you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing. 
you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. If you know anything about me, you know anything about this channel, I am a huge proponent for beginner affiliate marketers to start email marketing. One of my biggest regrets in life is not starting email marketing sooner, and I am paying for that later on in life. So if you want to get started with affiliate marketing the right way and you wanna learn everything that I know, click that first link in the description, get your free guide to email marketing, and I'll see you in the next video.